Hi, dude. Hey, dude. So what's up, everybody? I'm Erin. I'm Nicole. This is Dude, That's Fucked Up. Dude. A podcast. A podcast. <laughs> um, how's everybody doing? Hope yeah. everybody's good. Um, we have a very fun show today. Oh, my gosh. I hope I everyone... Think- I hope everyone's thinking of me right now, not to like make it all about me, but um, I hope everyone's thinking of me right now because um, when we release this, I will be having both of my jaws broken and yeah, and reaffixed in place with uh, metal plates and screws. So <laughs> just send me like your best thoughts and wishes, uh, and hopefully maybe thoughts and prayers, th- <laughs> thoughts and prayers. Um, you send me your good energy and your vibes. Uh, and also, uh, hopefully I'll already be done by the time you hear this. So that's nice too. Yeah. I, I hope that when, at the time this comes out, you're on the road to recovery and you're not like, you know, having too much pain or or suffocating in my own saliva. (laughs) No, you'll be good. You'll be good. Um, yeah. So that's fucked up. That sucks. I feel Mm -hmm. real bad, real bad for you. Um, that's okay. Um, let's see. Uh, business. I was going to say, we've been plugging stuff up front. Let's plug it in the back. Okay. What do you think? All right. Or do you have any uh, business that we don't normally talk about? No. Just, okay. you know, go to the Patreon. Yeah, go to the Patreon. Let's just plug it now because we're already yeah. talking about it. Um, also, like, if you're like, Ugh, I don't, like, you, you, if you get, like, two minutes into the podcast and then you decide to turn it off at least we'll have talked about a patreon you know <laughs> yeah uh, uh we have one <laughs> yeah we have one it's so good patreon.com slash dtfu podcast uh we talked so much shit we recorded a bonus episode yesterday um and uh-huh. uh it had to do with the um warren harding episode and it's just us shitting on a bunch of presidents with mistresses. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. There's a lot of them. Yeah. I mean, probably I would say 99%. Oh yeah. I mean, well, and we we only covered a few just like the more um I guess fun ones, I guess. Yeah, yeah. Right? Uh, yeah. Know. Yeah, it was like ones that we thought fun were Fun is a relative term. <laughs> right. Yeah. Like, well, one I thought was fun because I met in Bermuda, and I just thought that was funny. <laughs> yeah, and it was, like, the most unfun-looking dude ever. Yeah, <laughs> Woodrow Wilson. What are you doing? Bet you didn't know that. Yeah. Well, lots more of that content where that came from if you yeah. go to the Patreon. There's, yeah. We have bonus episodes. We, like, do commentary episodes where we, like, we'll pull a piece of, like, a commentary that we have or, like, a, just, like, a clip from one of our previous episodes, and we'll, like, expand more on it. Yeah. Um, in, you know, like – we usually go off on pretty good tangents. Um, sometimes we cut out stuff, and then it maybe that becomes a commentary episode that the commentary episode is based on. Yeah, yeah it's all it's all kinds of fun stuff. And then we do Q and As, um, and we do um, something called the Circle of Excellence and Circle of Hell. Yes, um, and that's fun because we'll talk about things that are like really lovely that we are delighting in, or things that are terrible, and we hope. Um, that meteor comes and wipes us all out, you know? <laughs> the skull, the, the skull the meteor. Skull, yeah, the skull <laughs> meteor. There's a skull meteor coming towards Earth. Um, uh, probably won't hit us, but here's hoping. Oh, my God. One of our one of our more recent reviews on iTunes said something like um, that we share, like, a lot. Like, oh, they're so open about their lives and stuff. And it's like, oh, we for sure are. But, it, but also, like, there are some things that we don't get into fully or that we cut, like, Aaron was saying, and that's in the Patreon. So if you think we're open oh, yeah. here, oh um, my god, check us out there. Yeah, there's, it's like a lot, lot more open and free. <laughs> <laughs> it's yeah, a wild, it's wild fun. west. It's a wild, wild west. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, it's fun. Um, let's see, anything fucked up for you this week? Um, well, my uh, our friend Sandra, who is my friend, but your friend also. Um, yes. she came over. Uh, so it's like, obviously it's like October and people are feeling spooky and yeah. it's fun. And w- sometimes we watch scary movies with them like throughout the year. So like this month it's like, Ooh, come over. We'll watch a scary movie. Um, and so they came over and we watched this movie. I don't know. I hadn't heard anything about it. It was called ghost stories, I think. And it has Martin Freeman in it. 
from oh, what like the Hobbit yeah. and stuff. Yeah, I love Martin Freeman. Yeah, he's very good. He's good in this movie, but it was very weird. And it was one of those movies where, like, I think her husband fell asleep. No, he for sure fell asleep. Um, <laughs> and then, it, and then, like, Pete was kind of on his phone, and me and Sandra are just like, "Why didn't we watch Hocus Pocus?" Like, you know, yeah, it's like, we no, just you guys don't care. Two hours. We just yeah. wasted two hours on a movie that was like okay on our sitting on like our couch that has been falling apart for the past two years that we're finally replacing that ha- is just like plywood with like a cushion on it and it's so <laughs> uncomfortable and I I like kind of felt bad and the movie wasn't that spooky um I kind of felt bad but like and we wouldn't have done it at our house except they don't have any tv right now because they only they had an apple tv um and her oh, husband no. spilled wine on it Oh, no. And so it doesn't, which I don't know how, because like, where would it be that you would spill wine on it? Because ours is like behind our TV. Yeah. Is it like sitting on the coffee table? <laughs> <laughs> is he like, like, does he hold it in his lap while they watch TV <laughs> or something? <laughs> oh my God, dude. Yeah. It's like, that's uh, weird. Uh, I, that's, uh, well, poor Apple TV. I don't know. Maybe, yeah. Maybe he like. I don't know. I don't know what their setup is at home. You know? Yeah. Well, I they don't say. have a setup right now. And then so and then so she's like, I had to go get a new thing. So I went to Target and they needed a DVD player because they don't have like their computers don't have one and they wanted one. And so she like found this weird like knockoff Apple TV like DVD slash DVD player that's like Wi-Fi enabled. Wow. That, that has like apps on it. And I was like, what? What year is it? And what's happening? (laughs) I don't have anything fucked up this week, but yours is a pretty good uh, segue into what we're talking about today. Yeah, uh, because they spill wine on their Apple TV. Speaking of, yeah, speaking of um, uh, content consumption. (laughs) Yeah, we're going to talk about Roku. (laughs) Yeah. And if you're thinking, Roku, what's that? And if you're also thinking, I know what Roku is, but why would we want to talk about it? Um, We'll explain. So... (laughs) Here it is. So Roku is like it's like a set top like box thingy. It's like it's like an Apple TV or yeah. an Amazon Fire Stick, and you could basically like you have quote unquote channels where you can um, you can watch different things. Like you can watch Netflix or Hulu or you know YouTube, yeah, uh, any of those things um, that you could do on like an Apple TV or a Fire Stick. But the weird cool interesting thing about Roku is that they have it's kind of like this open source thing where you can watch different channels that people are just like creating and so it's like it reminds me of like cable access tv yes 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 with you know but like with infinite channels yeah like anybody can go on and onto the Roku network and like create their own channel. And when that happens, Uh, (laughs) it leads to some weird shit, dude. Also bad. Yeah. A lot of bad stuff on there, dude, because like people are creating their creating and programming their own channels. It's not like you don't just create it and then it like exists. It's like a living, breathing live thing. So Whatever the content right. is you put up there, that's what's up there. Yeah. Um, oh. It's not like it's not like YouTube where you, like, create a video and then it lives there in perpetuity and people can play it whenever they want. It's like, right? I think well, that's how it works. Well, it would just be like that one video is playing over and over, right? Yeah. I mean, I, I haven't looked at, like, the, the back end for this to, like, yeah, yeah. do – but – I don't know. Uh, yeah. I think it's like <laughs> disclaimer, neither of us have Roku. <laughs> well, it's funny you should say that. <laughs> I actually do have one, but I don't know how to use I like I don't know where it came from. It's like I like found it and I was like, where the fuck did this come from? Oh my god. I think I think we like won it or something in like a raffle contest or a raffle or yeah. something. Or somebody like gave it to us like they didn't want anymore or something i don't DJ know DJ probably got it through work because that's how i got probably i got one yeah it was like a raffle at work because working with like media people and stuff 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It was like it, maybe like in a swag bag or something yeah. like that. Um, yeah. But yeah, I've never used it. I think I tried to set it up and then it like <laughs> had a hard time getting on the network and I just like was like, oh, fuck this. I'm not going <laughs> to fuck around with this. Well, so I just never set it up completely. I feel like you don't need that and an Apple TV, you know? It's like no, you don't need I both. Don't. They Because no, no, it's no. all the same apps it's, unless you want the cable access. Well, now I'm intrigued. Okay, I was going to say, I'm like, actually, I gave mine to my mom a long time ago, and she set it up for a while, and then I think it stopped working, so it's gone. But, but yeah, same thing. I was like, oh, man, I really want to watch some of these channels. Yeah, it's crazy. So, um, yeah, so what you have to do, though, it's not like you can just go on your Roku, um, and I'm sure any, people out there who are listening who have a Roku know all about this but maybe they don't they haven't explored some of the weirder sides of oh. this and this is like where we're going with it um there's oh my some God. bad shit stuff out there so what you have to do to get all these because the reason they're not available like on like through the device like you can't just like go on your on your roku and on your tv and just like add them you have to go onto their website and then go through a process of adding the channels to the device. Mm -hmm. So, um, so, well, and it's the reasons because the content can be risque. Yeah. They're private channels and they might be in beta. They might require a membership, um, or they're like, you know, it's part of an unofficial thing. Um, um, like where it's like pulling in data or whatever. Mm -hmm. Um, or it's a third-party channel of a website that Roku might want to hide um, and not be affiliated with or whatever. Or it could be porn. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> that means porn. That's code for porn. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> and so some of these some of these channels are, like, pretty, like, interesting. Like, people are doing some cool stuff, and then and they're, like, high quality, and some are just not. Um, and just, like, cable access channels, like, yeah, you can just have your – you can just do your own thing. Yeah. Um, and they have, there's, so there's some that are like literally podcasts on there. Yeah. Where you could just like listen to a podcast. So, I mean, I don't know. Would, are we going to start one? Maybe. We're looking into it. I already, yeah. I already looked. It looks easy to do. We just don't know if there's a cost implication. Um, mm -hmm. But also, uh, I would like to use this as an opportunity to invite anyone that has a Roku, please check some of these channels out, report back to us. Yeah. Or if there's something that you per in you personally watch that you're like, oh, mm -hmm. my God, this is batshit, tell us about it. Oh, my Leave God. Leave us, a, a, you know, a comment on any of the social meds, mm -hmm. the social meds, mm -hmm. the social – I just drank a beer, so I'm like... Did oh. you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you butthole, why didn't you tell me? I don't care. Mm. Oh, that's how you can get calories. I would have had one. <laughs> beer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> when your jaw's wired shut. Yeah. <laughs> At least I can still drink. <laughs> I know. Well, not with your meds. Yeah, no. Um, But yeah, it's like, if you're out there and you're like, ooh, I got some weird shit I watch on Roku all the time, then tell us about it. Yeah. We want to know. I want to know. Yeah, um, we'll figure out. Maybe we'll maybe we'll get on there. Yeah. Oh, do you, wait. So you still have it somewhere? Uh, I think so. Oh, yeah. oh, you mean maybe we'll get on there? Uh, on and make a channel. Yeah. Well, maybe yeah, we'll yeah. make a channel. I think that's good. It. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, let's talk about some of the weird channels because we have a lot, and then I have a game for you at the end. Excellent. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, all right. Well, I, I think also like there, the reason we found the reason we like stumbled onto this as a topic is because Vice did an article where they talked about some of the weirdest channels that they found in, mm -hmm. in like detail. Uh, and so we thought that was funny. So we'll talk about some of the channels that they found and what they're all about. But then we did a little bit of digging deeper to find uh, some more weird ones that um, they just didn't talk about. Yeah, there's, there's, and to be clear, there's thousands of channels. Oh, thousands like, and thousands, yeah. Thousands and thousands. So it's like hard to know what the fuck. And there's new ones, I'm sure, being added all the time. So these are just like whatever at the time people were finding. <laughs> yeah. 
Um, so one of the ones they talked about, so there's a channel dedicated to Anglophiles, which <laughs> I'm an Anglophile. Are you? I love, yeah, I love yeah. British culture. It's yeah, best. that's all that is. An Anglophile is you just love uh, Anglo-Saxon culture. I don't know where that you word love comes Brit- from. Yeah, yeah, Ang- Anglo is like the root of Eng- English British oh, okay. culture. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So you just love British culture. So there is a channel that you can subscribe to that is uh, 24 hours a day just content for people who are obsessed with British things and people and the land. <laughs> now, I thought some of these, some of the stuff on there was like where they were competing, like who was the most British loving. Sure. Who, yeah. And like they would get, the prize was like a trip to become the ambassador for the channel or something, a trip to London. But then it sounds like it just didn't pan out and nothing ever <laughs> happened. <laughs> Which, you know, that, that checks out. That checks out. It's yeah. just some free channel on Roku. Yeah. yeah like, it, oh, yeah. We're going to do a contest. Whoever is the most British, love, loving of British culture, will win a trip. All expenses paid. No such trip ever panned out. <laughs> no. Uh, oh, God. This channel sounds very cringy to me It's because it's kind of like, you know, you know, what makes me very cringy? People who are so obsessed about something that they cry about it. Yeah. And that it just seems like that would be this for 24 hours a day, but all the people are wearing tiny hats. Like, if you were <laughs> really British, you would not be crying about anything. No. You would be, like, very – you'd be, like, suck it up. But they're all – but they're all American. Yeah, that's or what like, I'm Yeah, not American. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you If you really want to, you know, be British – Yeah. Don't fall all over yourself about something. Put on a <laughs> – put on a stone-cold face – Act yeah. like you can't be bothered because you can't and bury those emotions. I'm very yes, yes. <laughs> um, no, drink stiff up a lip. You drink the emotions. I think. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. So what a weird channel. I hate it. I don't like it. No. Boom. I mean, I love British things. Uh, I do too. So Tea? I get it. I get it. But I just like don't. I'm not a cringy person that's like crying about the royal wedding or anything. I mean, I watched mm-hmm. it, but. Like, um, do you follow Gary Janetti on Instagram? No. He like takes pictures of Prince George, like looking very like, like bitchy, <laughs> <laughs> and, and like makes captions where he's like <gasps> making fun of Meghan Markle or whatever. Oh my god, I gotta it is, follow that. It's a fantastic Instagram. Oh my god, follow. what a treat! Such a treat. Um, it's so funny. Oh my god. Okay, well, weird. That's weird. Yeah, but like you know, oh wait, whatever. It's fine. Um. The next one is my, uh, maybe one of my favorites because it's just called Moni Garza and it's just, (laughs) it's just a baby. It's like, it's like pictures of a baby, right? Or like short videos of a baby. It's so weird. And the Vice article was like, I guess that's probably Moni Garza. Like that's probably the baby, their name. The name. Yeah. But the reason this is my favorite is that it reminds me of Benny Lava. <laughs> Moni Garza. <laughs> Hot Moni Garza. <laughs> Do you guys remember that video? It was like a viral video from a really long time ago. Of Hot like a Benny Bollywood. Lava. Oh my God. What's the other great. phrase in it that's like, there's another phrase that comes up a lot in that video. Man, I was singing it the other day with Pete. It's so, it's such like a fun, I fucking love Bollywood so much. I, I need to like go to Bollywood theaters or something and like watch yeah. those videos. I think it would be so fun. There's tons of Bollywood movies on Netflix. Yeah. Oh, maybe I just watch them. Oh, that'll be like a really fun, positive way to recover, I feel like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bollywood movies and like um, also like Korean um, uh, like dramas and stuff. Oh, no. I can't cry. Okay. Yeah. yeah. yeah fair. Because then you'll get stuffy. All right. Oh, and fair, I won't fair, breathe. Fair, yeah. Fair, fair. Okay. So I don't know how I'm going to not cry, but we'll see. Yeah. Um. Do you want to alternate on some of these? Sure. Okay. Uh, the next one on their list is House of Yahweh, <laughs> which is a doomsday cult channel. I don't even know. Oh, my God. So that makes sense. 
But, uh, well, yeah. Like having a doomsday cult yeah, all, channel on all Roku? Cults yeah, yeah, yeah. should have a channel on Ro- Roku. If oh. you're a cult and you don't have a channel on Roku, what the fuck what are, are you, you doing? Do, are you even a cult? Are you even a cult? <laughs> are you, like, trying to get other people's money or involvement in your cult? Obviously not, because you don't have a Roku channel. Get on that shit. Yeah, that's embarrassing. Um, I, But, yeah. That's how you reach That's how you reach the ones you want, you know? Dude, most of the channels, I got to say, are religious. I looked through a significant number of channels and it was just like name, category, and then like a rating that like whatever it was rated because you can rate Mm -hmm. the channels and apps and stuff. And so many were just like religion, religion, religion. I was like, oh man. But that's like instead of instead of standing out on a street corner preaching, it's like they're like, I'm just going to have a Roku channel. Yeah. Oh my God. You look less crazy with a Roku channel than you do out on the street corner with a giant cross. In a Bible. I and mean, that. Screaming at people. <laughs> people do that in D.C., like, down in Chinatown. Like, yeah. That is, like, the, the primo spot for people <gasps> yelling about Jesus. Oh, my God. This just reminded me of something I saw the other day. It was what? fucking creepy. It was a guy on a street corner in Long Beach, like, right close to the train station where I drop off Pete every morning. And we uh-huh. were, like, in the car with the windows rolled up and talking. And then we, like, heard... This like really loud man talking, and we were, and it sounded like it was coming from like a speaker or like an amp or something, like a megaphone, or like something. a megaphone. And we look over, and it's a full grown man with like a child sized doll in his lap, and it, and he was sitting on a box which may have been the amp, and he was like mouthing like to the recording that sounded like he recorded it previously and it was like something about like it it was like kind of like anti-trump but pro-religion and it was like about like pedophiles and stuff it was fucking weird and the doll was so creepy it didn't have a face and it was like really dirty and i was just like dude this is not okay and no one is gonna <laughs> listen to you and everyone's scared and also everyone's thinking the same thing and that's that you're a pedophile yeah like what are you <laughs> bringing attention to that for like <laughs> is this something that's on your mind oh like my what God. is happening uh, it's just like Whoa. did someone ask you to come scream out here on a street corner about pedophilia or are you just a pedophile like i just don't understand whoa dude that's gnarly it was scary anyway well, that's fun. Maybe he has a Roku channel. <laughs> Prob- I mean, he should. Yeah. Um, this one I thought was fun. It's called the. It's called French River Bears. Ooh, it's, that sounds fun. It's just a channel about bear hunting, and it's not the fun gay kind. It is Aww. like it is like crossbow killing bears and like hunting them, and it's is sad. that like a is that like a, a French River Bear? Is that like a a, a genus of bear? Oh, I don't know. Oh, when I read it, I just immediately thought, oh, it's like a bunch of gay hairy men on the French Riviera, <laughs> like living their best life and drinking uh-huh. rosé. And that's what I want to watch. That uh, is what I want to watch. That's where I want to be. Uh, yeah. So, but then it wasn't that. And I was like, oh. <laughs> Boo. God damn it. People just hunting and killing bears. Yeah. Cool. What a, a horrible like channel. Like actual bears. Yeah. Um, I just started uh, following this Twitter account where they like, it's like a, it's a national park Twitter. Uh, I forget which one, but anyway, they like, sh- they like take pictures of the bears. Like they're all tagged, you know, that are in this national park uh-huh. and, uh, like they take pictures of them before hibernation and after hibernation. <laughs> and it's like, f- like f- it's called the, the fat bear awards. <laughs> And they just post like different bears, like bear 423 or whatever. And it's like, this this mama bear uh, just woke up from sleep and she's really skinny. This is what she looked like before she went down for the, or like now, or like before she started fattening up for winter. And now she's getting fat and for, fat for winter. And it's just like the, the difference between like the skinny bear and the fat it's so funny and so cute oh my god it's hilarious it's just a picture of a bear just like sitting there like fat as fuck it's great it's really really delightful what do life bears have i mean it's cool like you just just, yeah like you just get to eat a bunch of food and then take a nap for a couple months it's like yes 
I want that's literally like what I want to do. Same. Oh. Like how do I ha- how can I make that happen for myself? <laughs> oh, it's it's the Katmai National Park. Oh. It's a K A T M A I National Park or NPS. That's the Twitter oh. feed. Yeah, yeah. Um and it's in southwest Alaska and oh. it's real fucking cute. Oh my god. And it's called uh they're like Fat, it's the Fat Bear Week, October third to 9th. <laughs> oh my and god! You can, and you get to vote for the fattest bear on the Brooks River. Oh my god! That's really cute. Funny. It's real cute. Oh, uh, <laughs> so funny! Oh my god! Uh, you know how Pete's from Alaska? His yeah. and um, his sister in law works at a hospital super close to his parents' house, and a bear walked into the hospital last week. <gasps> Oh my God. Like legit Dude. just wandered into the hospital and they were like, they, you know, they were like, oh, um, emergency at the hospital today. A bear entered Mendenhall, whatever it's called, uh, the hospital. And then they, they like shut the rooms to the doors or whatever. And then it just wandered back out. It's like typical day in oh. Alaska. I was like, oh my God. That is pretty, pretty Alaska. Yeah. That was cute. No. Well, that's that's fun. Um, yeah. There's a kids comedy hour channel. <laughs> oh. And it's just literally little kids doing stand up. I, I I don't think so. I couldn't hate anything more. Like <laughs> that is, if hell is real, it's just <laughs> it's just <laughs> me being forced to watch kids think they're funny. I can't. Oh my god! Uh, I mean, I guess some kids are like funny, kids, but not at stand up. It's like kids well, bot, but worse. Kids are unintentionally funny. That's the thing. Yeah, they say things that are funny without like they take things literally. They like they make you feel like shit about your appearance. Like yeah. that's funny, you know. Yeah. But like not the little not like trying to like create content. Like, Gross. Yeah, I don't think so. Oh, God. And they probably think they're so cute. Like, the kids that are on it. Unless they're, like, talking about, like, something that's, like, super adult. Like, they have, like, a they have like a, a, a bit where they're, like, talking about, I don't know. Like. Uh, how like, they were doing their taxes or something. Yeah, yeah, and that's fun. Use or, like, the, gym use their at tax work. Ret- <laughs> yeah, use their tax return for, like, a bunch of cocaine or something. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> that'd be funny I, I would love uh, that uh, yeah that's funny I guess if they were using yeah like adult things like if they're like oh yeah my uh, husband's currently going through a midlife crisis he just went out and bought a Mustang power wheel or something like that yeah, and you're yeah, like that's yeah. funny because you could picture yeah. it and that's cute yeah 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 that's cute alright um, well still I love don't, it. I'm not watching it um, yeah <laughs> uh, there is something called Holland TV, which you think would be about Holland and the, the country. Netherlands, yeah. Yeah. Uh, but it's not. It's a. Ba- it's a basically a public access channel for Holland, Michigan. <laughs> <laughs> what is it like for their tourism board or something? Uh, I guess. Uh, and and it's just like yeah, programming of like their par- like local parades and their tulip festival. And they have a windmill and stuff. I looked up this place because I was like, what could possibly be going on in Holland, Michigan? And uh, so they're just ripping off actual like a Holland, like Dutch. Well, culture. No, because because people came over and settled there. So, oh, you know, oh, OK. Yeah. So it is like a Dutch. It does have a Dutch history. Um, Got it. But like, I, yeah, I think I don't think that's like all their festivals. They have like normal festivals, too, probably. <laughs> Oh, my God. That's funny. I don't know. But I was like, oh, this place kind of sounds cute. And then I went to the Wikipedia, and it's the birth the birthplace of Betsy DeVos. So I was like, fuck that place. I hate it. Bye. Bye. Ugh. Boo. Okay, well, I don't know what this channel is. The Screw Channel? Oh, it just makes people horny. And there was a program called Twerk and Bake, and it's just people twerking in a kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> okay. While they bake something, I assume. All right. Cool. Uh, I was like, what? Yeah. And then, oh, then there's also a shop hip hop goth and club where that's what the channel's called. And no way. Guess what? I thought it was a maybe like a QVC channel where they try and sell you mesh tops. But <laughs> but it's not. It's just a web page. 
What? Yeah, this is what bothered me because, okay, because Roku has app like these channels are essentially apps, so like it could be anything, and like Reddit has an app, which it's like, what the fuck? Why do you need to go to Reddit on your Roku? Like, go, go on your computer, go on your you fucking, fucking computer. neckbeard. <laughs> like, don't get away. I are you just gonna like disparage women from the comfort of your armchair? Through your Roku, I mean, that seems like too much effort. You got to type in each letter. Maybe you can't. Maybe you can't afford a computer. Maybe, yeah. Or a smartphone, you know. Yeah. Do you think they're I don't on know. Reddit? I don't know. I mean, who knows? <laughs> I guess though, if you can't, if you can't afford a computer, this is like how you get on the internet. I guess. Yeah. Sort of. Sort of, because it's like very limited. I guess. I don't know what's going on. Uh, and yeah, then there's like, um, only animation TV, which, oh, this fucking guy, dude, it's, this is probably the same guy that goes to Reddit on his Roku. Roku. <laughs> he was, oh, there's a picture of him and he's wearing like, um, uh, an Aloha shirt and like a little orange hat that's too small for his head, but just barely. <laughs> it's not but like he's... a fascinator on the Anglophile channel. No, <laughs> but it's like we're skirting a really thin line here of what's appropriate to put on your head and what's not. Like, like why? Like, why is that? Like, what counts as a hat? Yeah. And what doesn't? Like, why are you? Why are you doing that? Well, the answer to that is he wants to become a, a fucking animated character. Like, that's what he's trying to be. Uh. Like, he identifies as a cartoon character. Yeah, so it's like that's why this almost comically small hat, but like <laughs> it's like the show, you dumb dumb. But he just has like a talk show, and then he just shows images of fucking actual. Cartoons? No, it's not even cartoons. It's it's like image stock images that he I think sets to sound effects or music, and then he puts them through an app like Prism. Oh. And then it looks animated. It's not even animation. It is a trash fire of content. What is he doing? This is America, folks. You can Good do God. whatever you want and have this channel. Honestly, this is like a, a gold mine of anthropological, like, like just shit yeah. of trying to figure out. If you want to know what real America is like, this is it. This is a snapshot. Jeez. Of different slices of life that are just so confusing uh, i i did like the cornfield of terror that's funny it's like <laughs> so the cornfield of terror channel is like literally a movie that just plays over and over and it's like a guy getting out of his car and following a kid through a cornfield <laughs> and then it's like but it's like two hours of it and it's just like on a loop and like i guess at the end some people jump out in some like cheapo halloween masks or something <laughs> it's like it's supposed to be scary but it's like Probably it's not. Uh, um, also, only good news TV sounds like what it is. It's just news that's like uplifting, which it's like fine. It's but nice. Don't get, but like you need to watch regular news too. Yeah. Or yeah, read it's it. like oh, this kitten like had a litter, or this cat had a litter of kittens, and every, yeah. they all got adopted. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> cute. Yeah. Well, um, sometimes you might want to check out and and just hear good news but yeah. yeah but like join but like live in the real world too yeah 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 um zombie yule log yep it's a yule log channel set in the zombie apocalypse what, what like it's just okay like a trash can fire in a empty warehouse okay it's ambiance it's not my kind but people might like it Somebody i guess it's like that. it's like a uh, kitschy or like it's like um interesting i guess if you're having a party it's a talking piece yeah mm. i guess like it's like it's like a, a halloween centric yule log oh yeah that's fun i guess sure sure um and then like the last one of this area like of weird ones that like i, I don't know felt like relevant to talk about there was one called water sports scenes which oh, what do you what do you I, think that is I thought that was about like, like pee, like yeah. pee porn. Yeah, me too. I thought it was pee pee porn, but it is 
just do they not know <laughs> i don't know they might not know it is literally just a channel of uh clips from tv and movies of people doing water sports <laughs> <laughs> um speaking of thinking something's porn there is a shit ton of porn oh yeah like a lot also i don't know if we mentioned some of the channels are like subscription based so you have yeah. to pay. A lot of the porn is for sure subscription. But some of these other channels are subscription as well. Um, or you have to pay to download it the first time. Like the Reddit uh-huh. browser, you have to pay $5. It's like, a, 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 no, just why? I don't know. Yeah, um, it's strange. It's strange. But some of the um, some of the porn like titles include Dr. Sonia's Sex in South Beach. <laughs> which Dr. Sonia sounds very professional. <laughs> <laughs> very professional. Do- I'm Dr. Sonia and this is Sex in in South Beach. Um I think it says it's like relationship advice, but it's porn. Um yeah, yeah, yeah. Show Me TV porn. Really? Mm-hmm. Becky LeBeau's Babe Flicks. Classy, Classy. porn. Okay. <laughs> Becky LeBeau. That's it, it's but it's like not spelled like, it, oh, it is spelled like le, but like, yeah, it's yeah. Not, it's weird. Like the boy, in French. Like, yeah. Le, no, le beau, the boyfriend. The boyfriend. Yeah. yeah. Um, Naughty America. I'm guessing that's <laughs> porn for Trump's America. But also, the description said uh, something about like it's mostly Gonzo films. Do you know what that is? I don't. Okay, me either. I, I think I did at one point, but I don't anymore. Oh, I should have looked brain... it up. Yeah. Isn't that like a type of journalism, though? Gotcha journalism? Like... No, gonzo. Oh, I don't know. Okay. Ma- maybe. Oh. Is it just regular porn? It, okay. No, no, no. It's, um, okay. It's a style of filmmaking, which was, like, pioneered in the 90s. And it's, I don't know. It's, like straight straight to sex like you take the storyline out of out of the out of the porn oh okay so it's literally just people sticking things in holes yeah it's like none none of the the storyline got it yeah all right that makes sense yeah there's um a channel called reality kings this is a channel dedicated to all of the reality style porn shows um they have hits cleverly titled such as they have cleverly titled hits such as "We Live Together" and "Come Fiesta." <laughs> okay. And it's just like reality type, like just people living in a house. I'm guessing with like like Big Brother style, but they're fucking all the time, and you see it. Like it's not like censored. Ew. Oh my god! Which sounds, I mean, sounds a lot like Love fun. Island. Yeah. Yeah. I, I don't oh worry. my god. Oh, I, Love Island. I'm not. I haven't watched Love Island yet, but I keep hearing it <gasps> oh my God. around different podcasts that I'm listening to. Oh, so it is. You should start it today. It is. You'll crush it. It's so good. Also, there. Oh, there. I don't know. I, uh, it's not giving anything away, but I like to say to people who watch it, Night Islanders, because they all say goodnight to each other. <laughs> all, it's cute. That's really funny. Because they all share a room, which is kind of weird. Um, oh. and then for, if you're on a budget on Roku, but you still want porn, uh, you can get hot flicks, which is like porn on a budget, but there <laughs> is a warning that comes with this. It's, uh, this channel is noted as quote unquote, occasionally horribly offensive. So, okay. so, you know, you get what you pay for, I suppose. But uh. yeah, those are some porn channels. That's kind of fun. Yeah. Uh, do you want to read the other ones? Yeah. So if you're in, if you're looking for a little bit more like wild porn though, that's on there. Oh, fun. Uh, there's a few few channels that have that are that sound great. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Kings of Fetish. Uh, oh. Fetish stuff, obviously. Yeah. Lethal Hardcore. That's hardcore. Um, <laughs> <laughs> But, like, I hope nobody's dying in these ones because. Yeah, I don't le- think it's, like, I don't think there's, like, snuff films, but I don't know. Who fucking knows, Who man? knows, yeah. 
Plumper video, which is BBW. What's BBW? Uh, big breasted women, I think. Or oh, big, okay. big beautiful women. It's a, a oh, l- larger plumper. women. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, that's rude. Which is rude, but also I guess it's weird. It's rude because of the name, but it celebrates big women and their sexuality. So it's like, but also like I don't know though. But are people fetishizing them? That's oh, I don't know. Yeah, which is I don't know. It's all problematic. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Then there's a um, then there's another channel called Severe Sex Films, which is BDSM, but it just sounds terrible. That sounds like something I don't want to watch. It sounds like a like a, a nun that's gonna slap your fucking n- knuckles, and they have like really crazy eyebrows. You know, I don't know. Or like slam but your that, dick in a door or something. That could that could be part of it. Yeah, I mean, that makes sense. Oh, that's BDSM. true. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Maybe yeah. I do want to watch that. I've never. I don't think I've ever watched any BDSM anything. I don't I don't like it. It's not for me. Yeah, I don't like violence, so no. Uh and then there's um another channel called Bad Puppy and I that's gay porn. Oh. What a cute <laughs> name. Which sounds deli- It's very cute. Yeah. I like it. Okay, I have a game for you now. Okay. I'm ready. <laughs> okay. So I uh you know the the Vice article only had so many channels and then we like looked up some other ones but then I went to the directory of all the channels oh and um they're all listed on a website called cordcutting.com and it's like thousands and thousands of channels and they're all ranked by rating cuz you could rate the apps or the channels like in like on the Roku I think oh okay and so a lot of channels aren't even I mean Hundreds of channels aren't even ranked. That's probably how bad they are. But I didn't even bother with those because who knows why they're not ranked. Um, so I just sorted them by lowest ranking and I started with the ones that were ranked. I um, love it. So I'm going to give you the name of some of the channels and then you tell me what you think they're about. Okay. 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 And remember, these are all really bad channels. <laughs> okay. Got it. All right. <laughs> Content got wise. Uh, okay. The first one is Venus. Okay, I think this one is a fetish channel where it's just some, it's just women shaving their legs with a Venus razor. <laughs> and their legs are super hairy. Uh, and is that song playing in the background yeah. also? I'm your Venus, I'm your fire, your desire. Yeah, 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 okay. yeah, 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 totally. Uh, ooh, close. Um, it's a screensavers. Oh, <laughs> that was my other guess. <laughs> cool. Uh, is it? Is it the? Is it? What is like? What's? Is it like the planet Venus or what? No, it's just screen. It's just screensavers. I, I think oh. they're just random. Okay. Um. Okay. The next channel is Gumballs. Is this also a screensaver? Yeah. Ah. Uh, okay. <laughs> Is it just gumballs? How'd you like know that? At, I, I, because that's what I, my, that was my first guess. I was like, mm, this is going to be like a Windows 98 situation. Yeah, it is. It is. I think it's also just random. Okay. Okay. What about, um, okay. The next channel is Kitty Catnip. Uh, I think this is actually a channel for cats. <gasps> Bingo. Where it's like, shows like cats. Like, things on the screen that cats will, like, want to follow or yeah, chase. Yeah. It's like... Did I get it? Yeah. It's like a channel for cats. Well, it, the programming, it, I think it varies. Uh, it ranges in lots of things. But it's a channel for your cats. So, like, if you're not home, you can put on the cat channel. I, why is that rated so low? I think that's brilliant. Uh, well, let's assume it's not the only cat channel. Ah, uh, okay. So, I maybe not, it's I'm one not, of the worst yeah. ones. <laughs> I see. And it's, it's like... It's like a dead fly. <laughs> it's like not even alive. It's like, well, yeah, I'm not my cat did not like this channel. Oh, uh. <laughs> all the bugs are dead. <laughs> uh, um. Okay. What about Destiny Point? Okay, I think this is a low budget, um, like soap opera. <gasps> oh my. We are on the same wavelength because I was like, this would be an amazing soap opera. Is it not? Is it not? What is no, it? No, it's not. It's a religious channel. Ah, uh, fuck. Yeah. Okay. Religion, Damn. I don't know. I did. It, w- it wasn't specified when I looked. Um, okay. I mean, I'm sure it was. I just didn't dig that deep. Okay. 
Uh, what about White Fire? Okay. This, this is a channel for white supremacist blacksmiths. <laughs> <laughs> Who actually uh, also refer to themselves as white smiths because they're that racist. <laughs> they're that racist. Or glass blowers. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, no, it's also a religious channel. But Damn. a very fun, uh, maybe it is, uh, I mean, who knows? Maybe it's a uh, deep down. I mean, white fire, like what, like why, why is why it white name? fire? I know. Yeah. It, it, yeah. That's weird. We don't know. Um, don't know. Okay. What about Catbox TV? <laughs> <laughs> this is a fetish channel for, <laughs> for people who like to watch. People take shits in human sized cat boxes. Oh, close. It's regular sized cat boxes. But people are taking shits in it? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm just kidding. They're just like squatting over a <laughs> tiny little cat box. They're and it's like, like also, it's also a game show. Uh, there's also a game show component. Oh it's my like, God. Who can, who can take a, the biggest shit in the cat sized cat box? <gasps> oh my God. Who can take the cleanest shit in the in the cat sized cat box that has the dome lid on it <laughs> a- it would actually benefit you in that scenario to have diarrhea because you could just <laughs> blast it into the hole oh my god dude <laughs> but what is it what the fuck is cat box tv is it cats taking a shit on this like on a loop like what? Is, <laughs> what? Just, what actually is it? It's just the cats like scr- like kicking back, kicking yeah, litter, yeah, 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 yeah. Like all um no, it's just another cat channel. It's just for your cat. But this one was much more highly rated than than kitty catnip. Okay. So Catbox TV is actually a better cat channel. <laughs> it's it's cat porn. <laughs> yeah, it, uh, box refers to the cat's vagina. Yeah, it's, cat it's just a TV. bunch of cats going, wow. Wow. I love it. Uh, okay, the next one is Talk Business with Audrey. Um, This is a woman dressed in a horribly, like an ill-fitting, uh, like, pantsuit. Talking to local businesses in wherever the fuck she is. Where is she? Uh, I want to say, let's let's go with uh, Kansas City. I don't know. (laughs) Holland, Michigan. Holland, Michigan. (laughs) (laughs) That's called a callback. What? (laughs) Or if you want to call it back further, we could say. the city of Marion in Ohio, where Warren G. Harding is from. Oh, oh. love it. Mm. Um, is that what it is? It's, just, yeah, it's just like a lady talking about business. I, I, uh, uh, I. It's I like don't... the poor man Susie Orman. Yeah, yeah. First which of all, is pretty bad. Talk business <laughs> with Audrey just isn't a great like, ta- like it's not a great title. No, it feels grammatically off. Though I don't think it is. It's like maybe you call in and you actually talk business with her. Yeah, like Susie Orman. Yeah, but uh, asking, should I buy this eighty thousand dollar powerboat? Yeah, with Susie, and she's like, no, absolutely <laughs> not. You make twenty five thousand dollars a year. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> <laughs> you're dumb. You're a dumb dumb. Um, and the last one, Valentine's Day for guys. Okay, this one is a podcast. With a bunch of neckbeards talking about <laughs> steak and blowjobs. Uh, I don't think it's far from that. Uh, okay. It is like just, I think, it's not porn, but it's like images of oh. just women in like Valentine's Day outfits, I think. Which is cool. Which is definitely, I mean, it, this belongs in the fetish category, I feel like. Yeah. So it's just, it's just a like, it's. Like, it might as well just be called Spank Bank. Or it might as well just be called Lady in Red. (laughs) (laughs) One of the greatest all-time slow dance songs ever. Uh, Never seen so many men ask you if you wanted to dance. (laughs) 
what a great song. Something, something, <laughs> something. <laughs> chance. Chance. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Looking for a little romance. <laughs> I have never seen that dress you wear. <laughs> Lady in red. <laughs> I fucking love that song, oh man. God. It reminds me of eighth grade. I hate it. Actually, it reminds me of all of high school because they play <laughs> that song at every fucking dance. Oh, and I feel like like right before high school, there were those um, commercials where it was like the love. It's like a the CD box set of love songs. And oh, it was yeah, yeah, yeah. Always on those types oh, of yeah. box sets that they'd hawk on TV. And yeah. I feel like, yeah, that one. And it's like a soft focus, like of a yeah. table with like a rose on it or yeah, something. Yeah, and a candle or like a fireplace yeah. in the background. Yeah. And you never see anyone's faces. No, no, no. Yeah. It's great. Oh, I love it. Is dancing with me cheek, cheek to cheek. cheek. <laughs> I barely know this beauty by myself. Yeah, you do love this song. This lady in red. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, ja- my God. Jack's, like, falling to sleep. Mm-hmm. Ma- you'll, he'll grow up someday. Mama, remember when I'm, he used to sing I'm that? literally going to put that song on as soon as we're done recording. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. You should take video of you dancing with Jack to it. Lady in red. <laughs> <laughs> all right oh, well we're done Jeez, this yeah. is enough yeah this is, this is fun um let us know if you watch any weird roku channels that we didn't talk about i mean there's like so many I so mean, i'm yeah. sure there is um oh yeah. i should have just made know. some up that would have been fun too but oh, well. oh i we mean we kind of did that we, we literally just can if we want to yeah and we can just, yeah, yeah and actually put them on roku yeah like i can make one i can make a channel of of jack and just be like Call yeah. it, call it, like, call it whatever I want. You can call it Jack, just like that one was called by the girl's name, Moni. Yeah. Moni Garza. Moni Garza. Hot Moni Garza. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Um. Yeah, well, that's it. That's all I got. Yeah, same. Uh, follow us on social meds at DTFU Podcast on all the meds. All the meads. Uh, all the meads. Uh, we have a website, dtfupodcast.com. There's a link on there. You could click straight through to iTunes. Leave us a review. We would love it. Um, you could click straight through to the Patreon, which we mentioned. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. You can see that we got a, a like a fun picture and story. Uh, we have Nicole's uh, video that she did. Oh, yeah. Uh, she produced. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, it's it's produce called Raining Men. And acted. Produce ro- yeah, produce ro- and triple threat bitches. Bitch. Um, yeah, it's uh it's on there. It's called A Raining Men. Uh-huh. It's great. Mm-hmm. Um and yeah, there there's all kinds of fun stuff on there. You can you can write to us through the website. It's pretty cool. So if you have a um fun story um or suggestion for a, a Roku channel we should watch, uh hit us there. Yeah. Yay. All, all right. right guys. Talk to you later. And be excellent. Be excellent to yeah, be excellent to each other and yourselves. Yeah. Okay. All right. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.